Rosebuds, welcome back to another Nava Rose video. It is Army Rosebuds because today is a BTS related video. I always get so excited every time I get to film BTS videos. Apparently, a lot of people didn't know that there are BTS core aesthetics. So I guess that's kind of like what my video is about. I wanted to explain to you guys, kind of give you the rundown, give you some outfit ideas. Also, disclaimer, gotta put it out there. These aesthetics are not the boys true aesthetics unless they stated it themselves these core aesthetics are just what army has pulled together what we have gathered from their outfits the photos that they post on twitter their vibe their interests just stuff like that we don't know their true aesthetic except for the boys themselves personally i don't even know my true aesthetic and i've been on the journey for a really long time also another disclaimer is that these outfits that i'm showing in this video are not outfits that the boys would actually wear these are outfits based off of the aesthetics themselves so so please do not put in the comments. Namjoon would never wear that. Of course he wouldn't wear that. It's a skirt. I mean, he, maybe he'll wear a skirt. I don't know. Also, definitely let me know if there's anything that I got wrong, anything that I need to fix, anything like that. I am totally open. This is just what I've gathered from the internet and Pinterest and Google and all that stuff. So we got seven members. I did three outfits per each member. Do the math equals a lot of outfits. So let's get into this video. First up, we have our leader, our president, the one and only Namjoon and his core aesthetic is called Junkor. So when I think of Junkor, I think very minimal and chill. So for me, the keywords for this aesthetic would be clean and minimal streetwear, Scandinavian because I do get that kind of vibe, very laid back, more comfy streetwear, and I also get lots of skater vibes from it, also dad vibes. I do like to think of this aesthetic as airy but still masculine. The color palette would consist of blues, greens, lots of neutrals, mainly brown and tan colors, and black and white. So for the first outfit, I'm wearing a plaid tan Henley top with a crop denim jacket and some matching jeans. I also got on my beige Switfish sneakers and a black waist belt to break up the denim on denim look. I feel Namjoon wears a lot of denim and lots of neutral colors, so I definitely wanted to put together an outfit that was somewhat similar. And this is my little Junecore dance break. Honestly, you guys are probably gonna see a lot of dance breaks throughout this whole video because I was shooting literally from morning all the way until- yes, So I noticed he also wears a ton of layers. So this is what I put together. And to be honest, it could also kind of be borderline take or if you take out the denim jacket. And I'm reading a plant book because I feel like that's a super June core thing to do. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I actually didn't have that many items to include into Junecore. His was probably the hardest to put together outfits for. For the last one, I wanted to put together an outfit that had a skater vibe to it because I feel that is a big part of Junecore. So I am wearing a plaid tan over shirt or shirt jacket, like some would like to call it, a black mini, untucked white tee, black dress pants, and some white socks and my Vans. I feel like this outfit is very Junecore, but it's not too, too skater. It just has a lot of skater inspiration and skater influence. And of course, I had to do the Namjoon smiling pose because he does that all the time and it's so cute. <laughs> so next we have Junecore, which is the cute aesthetic of the bunch. So the keywords would be cutesy, preppy, kawaii, and I would say very simple and minimal still, even though it's like really cute. In the color palette, you'll see baby blue, pink, white, and all the pastel colors. In outfit one, I'm wearing a white pleated skirt, an oversized sweater with a white collared shirt underneath, and my white sneakers. I felt this first outfit definitely represents Jincore the best out of all three that I put together. I just love it because of the colors and the pleated skirt obviously is a must have and my mesh heart socks that I got from Daiso for only like $2. I love them so much and they totally fit with the Jincore aesthetic. In outfit two, I'm wearing a pink plaid skirt, my bangtan jacket, a white tee, but not just any white tee, this is my Tata white tee, 
some white knee-high socks, and my really clean Air Force Ones. I love this jacket so much. This is a Bang Chan jacket that I made for one of the LA concerts during their Love Yourself tour. It holds so many memories because I met so many of you guys, and of course, it would not be a Jincor video if I didn't do Mr. Worldwide's infamous kit. <laughs> In the third outfit, all I'm wearing is an oversized pink hoodie, some white skinny jeans, sneakers, and honestly, that's pretty much it. I mean, I wanted to keep this outfit very simple and minimal, so I didn't want to add too much stuff to it. But of course, the hoodie makes up for it all because I had to include one of the hoodies from my BT21 and Antisocial Social Club collab. And since I chose not to really use any accessories, I'm just holding a bag of purple yam chips, which are actually surprisingly good, except for the fact that I have a freaking crumb on my mouth. Ew, I hate it. <laughs> Next, we have my Bias Records aesthetic, which is Yoonkor. Other people have called it Shugakor or Yoonkikor. However, I've seen Yoonkor the most, so we're just gonna go with Yoonkor. Keywords for this aesthetic would be hip hop, moody, angst, dark but still gentle, which I feel represents Yoonki very well. Heavy streetwear, but not like super hip hop. It definitely has a rock twist to it. Minimal e boy influence, soft grunge, and slight skater influence. The color palette would consist of red, black, and minimal white. Okay, this is like the first aesthetic we're going through that actually has jewelry incorporated into it. So it would just be lots of silver jewelry, lots of rings, and silver chains. I don't want you guys to get confused with e-boy chains. These are more of like silver chains that rappers would wear. The ones with like the diamonds in them. For the first outfit, I'm wearing a black oversized jacket, a white hoodie, black track pants, my death world tee, which I actually featured in my black owned business haul, and then some black socks and chunky sneakers. I love this bomber jacket so much because it is from one of my followers. She has a really cute shop called Kawaii Crate and she sent me this bomber jacket and honestly it was such great timing because it matches perfectly with the Unicorn aesthetic. In outfit 2, I'm wearing a black leather jacket, a black crop turtleneck, some black shorts, my short white Nike socks, and platform creepers. Honestly, I wasn't really sure how I felt with mixing the Nike socks with this grunge look, but I still kind of wanted to incorporate that hip hop influence, so I added the socks, and honestly, I kind of like it. And the last outfit, we have a black and red striped long sleeve, my black and red thank you graphic tee, my black ring hat, dress pants, some white socks, and my Vans. Okay, so I honestly feel like Suga in a red striped shirt is burned into my brain because every time I see a red striped t-shirt, I just instantly think of him. I don't know, is that just me or does anyone else also feel that way? And you know, Yoongi is just always throwing up these hand signs, so I just had to do one as well. I'm your core, you're my core. This is hobby core and it's so cute because it is the complete opposite of unicorn which i love keywords for hobby core would be bubbly happy colorful bright takashi murakami of course and high piece color palette would be the whole rainbow like let's be real for decor i put some cuttings into a sprite bottle because you know hobie and sprite are a match made in heaven so for outfit number one i'm wearing a rainbow cardigan a white rib tank which i will touch base on later some light blue oversized jeans my clear belt pouch and some white chunky sneakers okay so before you say anything about the outfit yes doll's kill is cancelled for me but I absolutely love the fit of this rib tank, so that's why I'm wearing it. I even tried to center it, but you know, it's just so hard because I keep moving everywhere. And you'll often see Hobie wear a clear bag filled with really cute knickknacks, so this is my little take on that. And I don't have a little Marikami flower, even though I really want one, but they're like $200. So I just added some colorful butterfly clips, a pink lip gloss, which is also from one of my followers, so thank you, and my bedazzled Shiki. Alright, all I'm saying is that if someone made an isolation dance video to this song, it would be fire. For my second outfit, I am wearing an orange puff jacket, blue beanie, my colors of Bennington tee, white cargo pants, black socks, and chunky black sneakers. Alright, so I love this outfit and everything, but 
my gosh, I was overheating. It's currently 80 degrees in LA, so I don't know what I was thinking putting this outfit together. I'm literally wearing a puffer jacket and a beanie. I was about to pass out, it was so hot. And also, if you guys can't tell, my Benetton shirt is actually backwards. The backside is way cuter than the front, so I just had to switch it around, but hopefully you guys can't tell too much. And for the last outfit, I'm wearing a rainbow sweater that I thrifted, white bucket hat, my white pleat skirt, and some white Nike socks, and my clean Air Force Ones. I honestly tried to give this hat so many chances. I, I featured it in my previous video too, but I just don't know. It just never looks right on me. So I ended up taking it off and decided to steal some butterfly clips from my little jar. <sighs> okay, this outfit, I loved the sweater. It's like one of my favorites, but I don't know. I think it was just a mixture of the hat plus the frumpy pleated skirt. I love the concept, but you know, maybe just not on me. All right, so we made it halfway through. This is the mock day line. First of the mock night line, we have Jimmy Core. So the keywords for this aesthetic would be soft, baby, dreamy, girly, femme, glam, sexy. Basically, Jimmy Core is the ethereal aesthetic. The color palette would consist of pink, baby blue, and basically all pastel colors and soft neutrals. So the first outfit, I'm wearing this light gray off the shoulder satin button up top and I'm wearing it as a dress so that I could wear my fringe rhinestone skirt over it. I'm also wearing a matching rhinestone choker plus some rhinestone pumps. Okay, so you guys see how soft and dreamy this outfit is? You guys just have to hear the music that's playing in the background because it's quite funny. <laughs> So the second outfit, I'm wearing a pink beret, lace bodysuit, pink satin pants, and a faux fur crop jacket. For this one, I really tried to put together an outfit that would incorporate all of the Jimmy Core textures like lace, faux fur, satin, rhinestones, like basically all of them. But you know, I think I might have gone a little overboard because I thought they would look cute in my mind, but after putting it together and seeing it on screen, I think it's just a little too much. It's still cute though. For the third outfit, I'm wearing a puff sleeve crop top, white slit mini skirt, gold layer chain belt, and some white sandal heels. Jimmy Core is one of my top aesthetics from the BTS group. I just love everything about it, and I had so many options for the outfits. I don't know, maybe it's because me and Jimin are both Libras. Could be it. Next up, we have Taekwor, and even though Taehyung is my bias, his aesthetic was the one I drifted towards the least surprisingly. So the keywords would be artsy, coffee shop, deep, cozy, book smart, classy, vintage, or anything associated with fall season. Takeover is basically dark academia, honestly. Color palette consists of brown, gray, deep earth tones, and off-white. In the first outfit, I'm wearing an oversized white button-up top, brown oversized knit cardigan, brown wide leg pants, white boots, and my Gucci headband. So as you can see, the silhouette is very baggy and loose. I feel like Tay wears a lot of flowy and comfy fitting pieces. So I definitely wanted to have an outfit that represents his style. Thank goodness I DIY this Gucci headband because it fits so perfectly with this look since Tay is our Gucci boy. For the second outfit, I'm wearing a black puff sleeve top, a long black coat, this plaid ruffle skirt, black booties, and a low bun. So I know black isn't one of the main core colors in the Tay Corp palette. However, I just felt like the puff sleeve and the plaid skirt were just so cute for a Tay Corp look, so I tried to make it work somehow. For the third outfit, I'm wearing an off-white turtleneck, tan plaid blazer, brown knee-high boots, and my Kangol beret. I find that berets and anything plaid are such a staple for Takeor, so of course I had to include it in an outfit. You know, I was supposed to hold a camera as a prop for one of the Takeor clips, but this was outfit number 18, and I think I was just on autopilot, and I just totally forgot, but having a camera would have been so perfect. <laughs> And lastly, we have Cook Core, which is the other main aesthetic that I love the most out of all seven members. So the keywords would be soft goth, dark, edgy, hard, emo, and e-boy, of course. The color palette would literally consist of just black, white, and silver. So for the first outfit, I'm wearing a white blazer buckle top, black mock neck top, cargo pants, and my platform boots. 
I don't know if you guys can really see, but I added Cookie's hand tattoos to my hand, but you know, I'm not gonna show it to you up close because I accidentally drew it backwards. So it's not cute. And of course, I wore my Playboy shirt for this outfit because John Jungkook is our international Playboy. For the second outfit, I have my white collar long sleeve top, buckle pants, platform Doc Martens, my chain fanny pack, and my grommet belt. Kukor outfits are basically just any all black outfit and they require lots of chains, lots of accessories, and lots of intimidation. And for the very last outfit of the BTS Core Aesthetics video, we have outfit number three for Kukor, which is my black croc blazer, mesh mock neck top, my ball chain overlay accessory thing, my ROC or rock lace up boots, and of course I had to do a double leg harness action going on because I just need to be that much extra. For the last outfit, I really wanted to look like I would hurt you, but in reality, I wouldn't even hurt a fly. It's really cute because I noticed the Makne line is a more intense version of the Hyung line. So we got Taekwore, which is a more evolved version of Junkore, Jiminkore is an evolved version of Jinkore, and then we have Kukkore, which is an intense evolved version of Yunkore. And then we have Hobikore in the middle, which is actually perfect because he's smack tab right in the middle between all seven members, and his aesthetic is the complete opposite of all the other aesthetics. It's just so bright, bubbly, and just very different. It's just so cute. I am so sad the BTS video is over. Frequently asked question, my bias is V, bias Wrecker is Shuga, and my Bangtan core aesthetic is is streaming core and cook core. So down in the comments below, name your bias and name your BTS core aesthetic. A good way to figure out what aesthetic fits you best is for each aesthetic, just see how many outfits you could put together per aesthetic and whatever has the most outfits is obviously your aesthetic. So hope that helps. If you guys wanna connect with me on social media, all my socials are at the novel Rose, except for TikTok, which isn't going anywhere because it's not getting banned. It's at the dot novel Rose. Okay, anyways. Did someone just knock on my door? Excuse me, sir. I was not expecting anyone. Like I was saying before I got rudely interrupted. The BTS shirt started to ship. Keep tagging me in all your guys' photos. I love them so much. All of your photos make me so happy. So please, please, please keep tagging me. Oh my gosh, my heart's so warm. All right, I purple you all so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me. You can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky. Come get high with me. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me. You